Good morning. It's time to take control of your life. It's time to take control of how things happen in life. Um, for example, I know for those of us that are working, you're thankful and grateful for your job. Um, but just having to get permission in order to take a day off for whatever reason, if it's a mental day, if it's I have a doctor's appointment or if you have some type of emergency that happened in your family um, and you need to get to someplace else. But that's going to depend on if you can take the day off. If you have the time in, that will allow you to take the day off. And some places, if you have the time in and you're taking, you're taking too many days off, that's going to be an issue. That's going to be a problem. I'm grateful for my job. I love my job. But I want to have more freedom. I want to have more freedom to spend more time with my mom. I want to have more freedom to enjoy the things in life that I want to do to go to places that I want to go and just enjoy life and not have to uh, depend on someone else making that the choice, making the choice and letting me know, OK, you're approved. And then if you're not approved of taking that time off or doing the things that you want to do to take control of your life, then it's going to bring about these emotions like, man, I really, I can't do this because if I do it, I may lose my job. If I do it, the consequences may be this. And can we do that? Can we put ourselves in a place where we can do more for ourselves? It's not going to depend on somebody else. And what they say or what they won't say, what they're going to allow us to do or how long they're going to allow us to do it. No more. You're not going to be able to get that time off because but I have time saved up. Yes, we understand that. But. I'm at that point. I am at that point of taking control of my life. I want to invite you to do the same thing for those of you that's sick and tired of really being sick and tired of your situation, let's do something different. Let's do something different. Just think about how it would feel to get up when you want to get up in the morning, to do what you want to do, when you want to do it, for how long you want to do it, for whatever reason you want to do it. How freeing is that? And where money won't be an issue. You can do the things you want to do. You can go where you want to go. and You, you, you don't want it to be where I don't even have the money to do that. And a lot of people are living that way. And if we can get out of the mindset of it has to be that way, then it can be freeing. And when you do that, you're going to give somebody permission that's been watching you. You're going to give them permission to do the same thing because they're going to look and be like, you know what? Maurice did that. I can do it. I saw what he did. I can do that. It may be uncomfortable. Um, it may stretch you. It's going to take some self-discipline. It's going to take some self-sacrifice. It's going to take you probably doing some things that you haven't done. It may be something that you are fearful of. And that very thing you may be fearful of doing is probably the thing that's going to bless your life. And when it blesses your life, it is going to allow you to bless other people that's in your life. Simply because you made a choice to say, I am going to do more. How do we make that happen? Allow God to order our steps. Seek ye the kingdom of heaven first and all of his righteousness. And praying, building a deeper relationship with God. We can do this. We don't have to continue to live the way that we're living. Not saying that we aren't satisfied or not saying that not satisfied, not saying that we aren't grateful for where we are and the things that we are blessed with God say, I wish that you have life and have life more abundantly living and having an abundant life. You deserve that. I deserve that. I deserve more out of my life. Even at my age, I deserve and want more out of my life. And you know who it's up to? It's up to me to make that happen. It's up to me to step out on faith. It's up to me to do something different or to try something different. It's up to me to eliminate um, some things that may have been a distraction that's been causing me to drift off of my focus, off of the purpose that God has for my life. The same thing for you. Eliminate the distraction and make that decision. If you're really sick and tired of being sick and tired, make that decision. Hope this was helpful. 
All right, take care. God bless. And prayerfully, I'll see you in another video.